Hi guys, by Rachel Tiffany here. Um, I have to make this video today to tell everyone that I will be on the Mixed Chicks chat tomorrow. So if you would like to tune into that live, it is at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so I guess that's it too if you're on the West Coast. Yeah, and as you know, I really enjoy the Mixed Chicks chat and I'm so excited. Um, to be talking to them finally so that'll be fun I think you just go this is how I do it I go to talk shoe and then you could search mixed chicks chat and then join in the chat either as a guest or if you have a talk shoe account um, as yourself um, so it should be really fun I think I think you can also go to Mixed Chicks Chat. There's there's another way to listen to it, and I don't know what that way is. I do it on TalkShoe. Um, and you can also download it from iTunes if you're unable to listen tomorrow. So, please, um, listen, because that'll be fun. I think. I hope. Um, what else? Today I bought some Miss Jessie's. Um, little hair products. I got the little sample sizes because I wasn't really sure exactly what I would need. And I'm not unhappy with the mixed chicks. I should say that I've had nothing in my hair for the past couple days. And I can't believe I have the audacity to make a video. Audacity. I found through YouTube, one of my favorite YouTubers has a really great online store called Audacity Beauty Supply. Um, but the address is not Audacity Beauty Supply. It's rodsjoint.com, R-O-D-S-J-O-I-N-T. Um, I will put that in the description as well. And they have really great beauty products, skin, hair, stuff for guys, um, electric oil burners, handmade dolls, jewelry. They have like the Shea Aloe butter kind of thing and you know like 100% shea butter too and soaps and it's just a really great site so I thought you know tis the season and also um, acting drama hey <laughs> um, she has a store on Etsy um, she might have actually like a standalone store too but I know she's on Etsy and it's Shanique Shanik. I'm sorry that I don't know how to say it. Designs, and I'll put that in the thing too. She has, um, she makes jewelry, and it's really nice. So, if you're looking for some last-minute gifts or whatever, you could go there. Um, okay, mixed chicks, audacity, acting drama. I started a blog. Um, it's called Mulatto Diaries, and it is on WordPress. And there's a link to it on my channel page. I uh, just. I write a lot of stuff down in a journal and then sometimes I try to relay it on here and it sounds like I'm reading something that didn't even come from me so I don't know I just I like to write and I think that's a, another good outlet and I think I don't always have to talk about race and I can just sort of say hey this is what I'm doing today or just whatever like today's was about me taking my dog to the groomer and he's there right now and I'm very nervous so um anyway oh Okay, and so about singing, I was, you know, like, I just, I have to say, I don't, I don't want to sit here and sing in front of this computer in my room. It's just not going to happen. And my new rules for myself for singing are, I only have to do it if I want to. Um, but I had set a goal for myself that I would go sing at the piano bar where my hair caught on fire before the year was out to sort of like get over that. So I went the other day to do this. The place has been closed for almost a year and I had no idea. Now you could say, well, you didn't want to go sing there. How would you know? The only reason I should know is because I have been to the restaurant that took over for this piano bar, you know, that is now in that space three times and never noticed that it was the same place. So, I was going to have that, I was going to sing, have it videotaped, put it on YouTube, because it would be like killing two birds with one stone. So I just wanted you to know that I tried. So, anyway, I'll find another piano bar, and I'll do that at some point. 
Um, but thank you, everyone, for your interest. That last video turned out to be kind of long, but along with, like, biracialness and singing, I sort of have noticed over the years, like, we have some fantastic biracial female vocalists. I mean, I, Mariah Carey, Alicia Keys, fantastic voices. Okay, but that being said, I feel as though Mariah Carey and Alicia Keys have these awesome voices and their voices are like always there. I've never really heard a wrong note or any, you know, anything mediocre even <laughs> come out of these women, but I think that they always sound like they're trying to sing. And I don't know if that makes any sense. And more than that, I really hope it doesn't sound like I'm hating on them in any way. But it sounds like maybe, to me, it's like, like they're reaching with a little bit of uncertainty. And it's like the note's always there. It always comes out really well. But it always sounds like a little pushed or forced or strained to me. Um, where, on the other hand, I think Whitney Houston has just as glorious, I mean, I think she's up there with the best, in, in her prime, anyway, you know, she's slipped a little, but, um, it's just, like, pours out with such ease. Now, this could be because she grew up singing in the church, in the black church, whereas Mariah and Alicia Keys have a white mother, and I... N not too clear on, you know, how involved their fathers were with them, but it doesn't seem to be, like, very much at all. And so I wonder if, of course, people expecting them to sound black, if there was sort of, like, a putting on of, I'm gonna sing like they want me to sound... And maybe that's not the most organic choice or maybe something in them, you know, I, it seems as though no matter how different our biracial experiences have been, all of us at one point or another or five or ten or twenty or a hundred times have been made to feel like we're not black enough. So when I hear them sing, it seems to me as may, though maybe there's like just... And it's all unconscious, and I don't, you know, of course I'm thinking about this too much, but it's like once I have the thought, it's occurred to me, I might as well go there, right? Um, okay, so when Leona Lewis came out this last year, um, someone said to me, I hadn't really heard of her, and they were like, oh, everyone's saying that she sings like Whitney Houston. And I listened, and I was like, mm -hmm. I'd say she's more like Mariah Carey, and I had no idea that she was biracial or anything, and then I saw her, and I was like... This is feeding into my theory. Not feeding into my theory, I think, is Jordan Sparks. Is that because she's so young? I don't know, because I don't think Leona Lewis could be much older than her, although she's from another country, and so maybe that is different. I don't know, because I think that biracial people that, you know, today are 17, 18, 19, 20, are freer to... Um, embrace their mixed identity, uh, and always have been, you know, being half my age. So, um, some more random thoughts about singing, Rod's Joint, um, Mixed Chicks Chat, um, yeah, that's it. Happy holidays, and I, I'll find a way to put my voice on YouTube.